What's up, YouTube? It's Sea Dog, and I'm back with my final G.I. Joe Retaliation Wave 3.5 review this week. I do have lots more G.I. Joe, but I did run out of Wave 3.5 as of right now. So we have done Cobra Commander to start, then we did Snake Eyes, and now I'm doing Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow is my favorite Cobra and my favorite G.I. Joe all together. Cobra Commander and Storm Shadow are my favorite, but if I had to pick one, it would be Storm Shadow. And this guy does not disappoint. This is a freaking phenomenal figure. It has so many accessories. I mean, they even give you a little bag with even more accessories. And as you can see, I'm totally decked out. He's got his pack on with a bunch of arrows and in a single arrow you can pull out. He's got his cross or he's got his um, bow around his shoulder. He's got two sides stuffed in his um, his belt around his chest. He's got he's holding on to a throwing star. He's got his nunchucks in his hands with a lousy rope, but you know. And he's got two katanas that you can pull out of the back of his um, his pack. And his pack's really cool. It's got this, uh, it's, yeah, it's like an arrow pack. And he's got the two swords that sheath right in there. He also comes with all of these, I didn't really want to take him out because I figured holding him would be even harder. But if you look at, you can see pretty much, here, we'll get them separated a little bit. You can see pretty much what they are. You got a, like a spike thing. You got a couple of these, like, straight things. And you get some spiked, you get just a bunch of spiked things. You see what I'm saying? Random stuff. And a few of those things were were in this bag that are actually on him now. Like this throwing star and those gun checks came in that bag. So those are the extra accessories. Oh yeah, and one of his size. So one of these. These I remember him using in the movie. And he does come with another head sculpt. This is a movie accurate head sculpt. And I just watched... G.I. Joe Retaliation last night. Actually, that's funny. I started reviewing the figures, and then I pulled out the movie. Well, like I told you guys, I'm having trouble with my my internet cable, so um, so I had to uh, result to DVD player. I thought I had watched G.I. Joe Retaliation, and I went to open it, and it hadn't even been opened yet. So there was a lot of it I never even watched. I fell asleep in the movie theater. Not bad, not bad. It's got a little cut, like right here. I don't know if you can see that, that hole right here. It's kind of strange, but either way, pretty cool. Not bad. Uh, skin color definitely invokes the character. And, you know, and this look looks kind of like a movie, Storm Shadow, and a 80s, you know, G.I. Joe, uh, Real American Hero Storm Shadow. So, yeah, he's got lots of weapons, and he can hold them all. He's got the belt. Uh, this belt is an accessory that you can unpeg and take it off. This belt around him is an accessory. Um, this unpegs right here. So, this is an accessory itself. So, you got, that is the Arashikaji symbol, I think, isn't it? I think so. And it's got two... Uh, katana, you got a katana and a short sword. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of that would be. You can see the details sculpted in. That's kind of cool. The arrows, and then he's got an arrow that you can pull out separately to use with the bow. And that just pegs in his back nicely. And he's got this strap around his um, chest and around his body that you can stash things like uh, these. Um, size in and he's got the nunchucks that are kind of lame because they're just held with a, a string but like I said this came in the extra bag he's got a fan like one of those deadly fans that they whip they whip out and then they throw at you I think and he's got a bow so and the bow has some flex to it whoops some flex to it. One thing he does have is small peg holes that don't like to be in there we go. In the stand. So yeah, he's got some cool stuff. Um, it's 
Storm Shadow himself. Plus, he comes with this thing in the background. This Z32 Cobra thing. And I'll show you that, too. As a figure, he's really cool. He's got, um... He's got some wash here at the bottom of his wraps here at the, at the bottom of his legs and feet. He's got wraps that are all done up in a nice wash. So it brings out the detail. He's got a little bit of that going on in his rest of his suit, but not as much. You can see some of the details in the sculpt there on that on the embroidery and the fabric that goes across that that wraps across the front. He's got a cobra sign here on the uh, left hand uh, chest, upper chest. Nice paintwork on the eyes. Good skin color. See more of that wraps with the wash on there. Looking good. I like the sculpt. The muscles look good. The hands look good. Love that detail. The, the face sculpt looks good. Love the little wrinkles right above the eyes on the forehead there. And you can see the seam running down all the way like it would be in a real a mask so that's really cool you can see more of that embroidery up here for the other side of the jacket or the sleeveless jacket I guess um, this unpegs this belt the black belt here unpegs and it unpegs you can kind of see let's see what I can show you you can kind of see yeah if we see where it separates right there but I'm not going to separate it you can see screws in there, and it's still with the ball jointed metal ball joints, but um, you know, not bad. I like the paintwork on the pack that he's got, and the paintwork on his eyes. You can see a little bit of color in there. Uh, his hands are done up in like a ninja kind of stance, so that's really cool. Attention to detail is good, and this one looks like it could be either ninja or it could do the arrow. Like it can hold an arrow or something. So, you know, you'd have to. Or maybe it would be the other way around, but. Mm, that would seem like the likely way. So, let me just try this really quickly here. So, you put that like that. And we'll swivel it around. And then we'll put this, pull this back like that. You've got to both get in there, buddy. Hold on, let me loop it in there. There we go. Like that. Holding the arrow. Back. Well, you, you see the idea. It works. Um, if I wasn't reaching two feet in front of me, I could probably mess with it myself. He's got good articulation, like the rest of them. You know, shoulders go up. He's got that cut, so you can bring it across his arm a little bit. He's got the elbow swivel. He's got the hinges in his hands. That, on this side, it goes up and down. And on this side, it goes back and forth. So that's cool. And I like that. You can get some nice ninja poses in there. Oh. Um, it's got a dedicated ab crunch, but it goes backwards, like Snake Eyes this does. You know, his head will move around. It's got it's on a ball joint, so you can get a little wiggle. Uh, you can get some up, some down, and you can half it. And do it like that. Uh, his wrist will also swivel. He also has used that as a diaphragm joint. He also will kick really high up, and will, oh, he actually has harder times kicking out to the side than the rest of them, huh. I'm sure you could, this side doesn't, so, you can use that side, or that, or you can, you can, um, customize and, you know, make away with some of that plastic, but he has nice double jointed knees, and his ankles are nice and soft, but they go all the way down completely and all the way up completely so that's great and great ankle pivot and look at the details on his toes I love that that's cool man this is a great figure guys um, it costs $20 so uh, it's definitely an expensive figure now and he can hold his weapons no problem as well as the bow see not a problem 
and uh, all around just a really fun toy man and now for the big gimmick all right so this thing you want you to take off the pack I didn't know this separated I guess this separates too you could probably put more stuff in there if it separates but anyways you take off the pack trying not to separate it that's why I could put it together there we go all right and then you want to take this and it has a peg you can see the peg right here it goes in the peg hole and you just wrap it around kind of um, his body and his head and then you peg it in but be careful of paint rub you know. and then I don't I guess it's some kind of jetpack but you can push on the wing and do tricks so you can do spins and stuff oops see or here I'll do it this way so maybe it's made to like I don't, I'm not sure exactly why it was made but maybe it's made so you can pose it or something doing a little posing and, and then kind of just wah, 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 yeah so yeah and anyways that's my review guys let me know what you think of the figures all right let's disconnect it you just pop it off like this and try not to rub any paint Get his weapon gear back on. And that's going to be a wrap. All right, you know the deal. Uh, if you got something to say, leave it in the comment section below. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And share with your friends, and we'll catch you next time. Cobra! I will get your snake eyes.